Well, hi, thanks for joining me for another Daily Touchpoint with CA staff. We're going to keep looking into God's Word for encouragement one day at a time. And today we're in Second Chronicles chapter 10. And this is where we're going to get introduced to Solomon's son, Rehoboam. Now, Rehoboam becomes king after Solomon, and Rehoboam is faced with a challenge, a question. What kind of a king will Rehoboam be? What kind of a man is this going to be? What kind of a leader will he be? And the elders of Israel gather around and ask him that question, and Rehoboam first turns to the advisors, the, the old men who had served Solomon, Solomon's advisors, and he asks them, what kind of a king should I be? And they tell him, look, your father was a great king, possibly one of the greatest kings in all of Israel's history. But he also became a harsh king king. Towards the end, taxes were high, his policies were harsh, and his the, the advisors who had served Solomon say to Rehoboam, uh, maybe you want to ease up on that. Maybe you want to uh, in, enforce some uh, tax breaks and some less harsh policies. And they say, look, if you do this, if you go easier on the people of Israel, they're going to love you. They're going to serve you for the rest of their lives. And you too could be a great king. Well, Rehoboam says, thanks, I'll think about it. But he turns then to his friends, to the young men in Israel. And he says, what do you guys think I should do? And they tell him just the opposite. They say, Rehoboam, you you got to go before the people of Israel and you got to tell them that if you think that my father was a great king, I'm going to be greater. And if you think my father was harsh, I'll be harsher. And if you think that that my father, King Solomon, was a man to be afraid of, you're going to really be afraid of me. And Rehoboam does that. That's what he chooses to do. He goes before the, the people of Israel and he says, I'm going to be a harsher king than my father. You better serve me. Well, they revolt. They rebel against Rehoboam. And as a result, Rehoboam is going to lose almost the entire kingdom of Israel, who are going to turn to a man named Jeroboam. And you've got to go back to 1 Kings chapter 11 to learn about that guy, because I don't have time to tell you about it right now. But here's the point. Here's the point that I want to uh, point out to you in, in this daily touch point today. Rehoboam turns to the advisors that had served his father, and they tell him one thing. He turns to his friends, and they tell him another thing. And it's what is not said. It's what is not done in this chapter that is the point for you and I to learn something. Rehoboam, whether he had followed the advisor's advice or the friend's advice, both could be problematic. What does he not do? He does not ask the Lord. He does not go before God and say, Lord, what kind of a king? should I be? He does not ask the Lord for wisdom as his father had done. He does not show devotion to God as his grandfather David had done. David, remember the Bible says, was a man after God's own heart. That's the kind of man David was. That's the kind of king David was. But Rehoboam, he, he totally disregards the Lord, not even curious to know what kind of a man, what kind of a king does the Lord want me to be? And that's the question for you and I today. Regardless of what we think this group would have us do or that group would have us do, regardless of what they've said or they've said, have we gone before the Lord and said, God, what kind of a man should I be? What kind of a person should I be? What, what kind of a father, what kind of a husband, what kind of a friend, what kind of a co-worker 
would you have me be, Lord? And so I want to pray with you. And let's ask the Lord for his leading and his wisdom. Would you do that with me? Let's pray. God, we do. We want to be men and women after your own heart like David. We want to be able to answer when people say, what kind of a person are you? What kind of a person will you be? That we could say that we have spent time with you, Lord that we would turn to you and say, God, what would you have me do? What kind of a person would you have me be? And so, Lord, I ask, help me to live this day listening for you to speak to me, listening for your words, listening for you to lead me. And I pray the same for all who are joining me on this touch point, God, that you would lead them by your word and by your spirit. Would you speak to us in a way that we know that it's you who's leading us? And Lord, we're going to trust you to do that. Would you make of us men and women after your own heart? that we might know how to answer when life brings us a question, what kind of a person will we be? We'll be able to say, we're going to be the kind of people who turn to the Lord and say, God, I want to honor you. I want to trust you. I want to be devoted to you. Help us to do that, I pray. In Jesus' name, we say together, amen.